know, when I was a vet student, one of the first things they tell you that 80% of the horse's lameness is the foot. And then with, with my experience, I have realized that the other 20% of lameness, you can still help them out with some sort of kind of shoeing as well too. So almost every t any kind of lameness, uh, a, a shoeing or a farrier is extremely important to be able to help the quality or the, or the welfare of that horse with the veterinarian. And we have realized that um, if we work as a team, vets and farriers, the outcome for that horse it's, it's, it's better. For horses and the horse's feet, to me, their feet are their foundation. So you have to start from bottom up. 80% of the horse's lameness is foot related. So if you don't have that team approach, you probably won't get too far with it. Also, they need to be educated as well too when it comes into not their abilities of, of doing something. You know, and I mean anatomy, pathophysiology, and, and and putting the whole picture together. But sometimes I even say the vets, you have younger vets coming out, but you have fairs that have gone through all this already and are very well advanced and educated. I tell those younger, you know, veterinarians, you know, find a fair that can, that has been through this and is educated and is well advanced and, and can teach you, like the University of Tennessee, that have their podiatry and their, their local farrier and then they teach their students. I think it's extremely important. And one of the questions that you can ask to the clients is what are, what are the most important two things or, or most important people that they tend to deal with when it comes to horses and their answer is going to be their vet and their farrier. So I mean their vet and their farriers is it's just it's just the most important thing for the for the welfare of the horse's care. I, I strongly recommend to the client that you make sure that, that your farrier is that's up to date and, and he has gone through continuing educations like this one's mainly in more than anything else, going through continuing education.